Real Fight to Promotion, June 17th, Morgantown Marriott. We have Matthew the Gladiator Wright, Ethan, B. Hayes. Let's go! Commentary table, we have Zach Candidate, the newly crowned Real Fight Champion. Zach, how you doing? How you feeling after that fight? Other than that, on top of the world. Awesome, man, awesome. Now, uh, you're, the, you're the first real fight uh, champion now. Are you going to defend that title next time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, my, that's my intent is to, is to keep it going, you know? Yeah. Well, you look great up there. Um, you know, you cut down. But when you, when you change the time, you might as well be changing the sport, so. It's, it's hard to say, yeah. it was hard for me to say what, what to expect when the fight started. For sure, for sure. Here's Raheem Davis out of the Chico's red corner, hyping up the crowd. Raheem Black Goku Davis. He definitely looks ready. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are both experienced fighters. Lopez with some MMA background, Davis with some MMA background. Uh, so, you know, you'll see some stuff that's just a little bit different than your traditional boxers. Now, I asked both of them if they, how they fought orthodox or southpaw or switch. And when I asked Raheem, he said, I'm switch AF. <laughs> so, uh, well, there you go. He's going to be slippery, I imagine. One thing you got to watch that, because uh, if, if you don't do it right, you're going to get caught every time trying to switch. Yeah, that's, that's really true. If you step in the wrong way at the wrong time, you're kind of leaving your chin out there to be exposed. And sometimes you zig when you should zag, and next yep. thing you know, you're counting the lights. Yep. I'm not All gonna right. say I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but yeah. I do find it interesting that both of these fighters have an MMA history, but they both have a losing record in professional fights. Yeah, and you know what? That uh, oh man, big combo landed by Raheem. And you know that that transition can be really tough going from MMA. You know, the striking in MMA is just completely different. The glove size, you know, the. Uh, the instinct to take somebody down or watch out for kicks. And one you know. thing that I'm not surprised is the head movement of Raheem. Yeah. Yeah, both guys showing good head movement so far. Oh. Raheem Davis already trying to do a little bit of taunting, kind of getting his opponent's head. Good stiff right cross landed on Nelson Lopez, thrown by Raheem Davis. They both look very polished and sharp. Yeah. Yeah, and as you were saying before, Zach, the, the three-minute rounds are a lot harder. Good left hook landed by Raheem Davis. And uh, this, this fight's going to be four three-minute rounds. So, you know, you got to gotta account for your gas tank there. Abs yes, absolutely. Yeah, you got to – you can't – it's not like a USA, say USA or two-minute rounds where you can just touch, 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 touch all day. You really got to pick your shots and set stuff up. And in yep. and, and the three-minute rounds, it gives you time to do so. Yeah. Raheem fighting out of Jim's Gym in Westover and Nelson Lopez fighting out of Hess's – fitness gym from pit crew boxing so it's there may be i don't know 20 miles away from each other training yep although nelson was originally from miami lopez did land a good solid combination right there about 10 seconds ago body shot and then came up with a, a straight right to the head lopez is doing his best work when he when he's able to get in there and get yeah. and close the distance yeah he's got to watch for that uppercut though leading with his head yeah <laughs> Now, one thing I see, though, is uh, Raheem Davis, you know, his mouth guard's popping out a little bit. He does in the, that. In the first round, you know, that's a little bit, uh, you know, uh, worrisome. But, you know, like I said, he is kind of an unorthodox fighter and has a, an interesting style. And a good right hand over the top there. One thing about both of these guys is their blocks are, are really good. They're yeah. really good at blocking. They've always got that hand right there. Yeah. Nelson Lopez getting aggressive, trying to walk Raheem down and land good body shots and head shots. He's doing a really good job at putting his punches together. Yeah. Yeah, and that timing too, waiting for Raheem to throw one, and then he's coming back with three or four. Very, very excellent uh, close range boxing from Lopez. Yep. What's the, uh, what would you say the reach advantage is for Raheem? Uh, at least a few inches for sure, I would say. I would say so, yeah. Say about four inches, but as this fight progresses and they both get tired, it's going to be less of an advantage. Yeah. Yeah, and a good a good shorter opponent who, you know, knows how to use his tools well, 
sometimes can make that an advantage when you get in close and you get yeah. low and come up and over. You know, you can turn that into an advantage if you know what you're doing. Well, we, we saw that in an earlier fight as well. Yeah. With well, that was, that was a good first round. Yeah, very, I mean, that very, was fast. Very good back and forth first round for yeah. both people. Yeah, I'd say the, the first part of the round, it looked like Raheem Davis was in control, but then it kind of flipped halfway and uh, Nelson Lopez started to take over. It's all about that feeling out process. Yep. Absolutely. For sure. You got to be willing to let one or two get through to figure out what you got to do. <laughs> yep. That sounds dangerous. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> like everything else, another gamble. I want to remind everyone that Raheem Davis is fighting out of the Chico Dairy Red Corner and Nelson Lopez fighting out of the real promo app Blue Corner. And we have three more rounds to go. All right, here we go. Round number two. Guys are touching gloves, being good sports. Lopez moving his head, trying to look for something, set something up. Nice combo landed by Davis. One thing that's very dangerous is they're just standing right there and they're not throwing anything or giving any. Oh, it's a big combo. Yeah, big combo from Davis. Big combo. A big risk, maybe a big reward. One thing about Davis is he's just unpredictable. You don't know when he's going to throw. You don't know what he's going to throw. Very, very calm, very poised in his recovery after taking that. Yeah. You can hear Lopez's corner giving him instruction. Calling for an overhand. Lopez's corner is. Oh, big body shot landed by Raheem Davis. Good jab right after. Good counter. Raheem's really trying to be physical when he does attack. He's trying to push in and be, be real physical and lay on him. He's got to like, he's got to remember that this is a four round fight yeah, too. Yeah. He was looking out towards Loading the crowd there for a second. I don't know what he was doing, but Davis was kind of looking out out of the ring for a minute. Got to be careful uh, letting your focus go anywhere but your opponent. Okay, Raheem, as he's done in the past, is not really protecting his head. It doesn't look like. Yep. Not paying for it yet. If you notice, he's also doing this weird thing with his right hand. He's, he's kind of got a cock there. Yeah, he's kind of showing him like I'm going to throw the right and then I'll throw the left instead, just trying to be a little tricky. Switch the southpaw right there, Raheem Davis did. Yeah. Let's see how this works. Good shell up, and pushing him back. Back again. <laughs> back to orthodox, it looks like. I, the thing is, I don't know if he's gassed right now or if he's just playing games. You just don't know with him. Yeah, you can't tell. And, uh, you know, he is kind of, like I said, baiting. Right. He's trying to get Nelson to throw. And that's why sometimes you'll see that Nelson's not going to throw because he knows that he's trying to get him to. Right. He's doing a really good job at attacking in spurts. Yeah. And that's, that, that, that's what's getting him points right now. Yep. Raheem with another onslaught. Slipping. Good right uppercut there. Yeah. He's... <laughs> Raheem Davis just licked Nelson Lopez's blood off of his glove. Oh. Not something I would recommend trying uh, yeah. at home. <laughs> yeah. All right, last 10 seconds of the round. Oh, he was waiting for that oh, uppercut that time. I yeah. think he's hurt. Which one's that? Uh, Lopez. He could be. I mean, he's with that, bleeding. With that last uppercut, I saw a little stumble there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I landed clean on his chin. Now, Zach, what was your training camp like coming up before this fight? Um, a lot of conditioning. I think I did more conditioning for this fight in particular than I ever have for any other fight in my life. Uh, a lot of running. Um, you know, just whenever I could get it in, I, I'd be getting some type of cardio exercise in. And then uh, three days a week, I'd be hitting mitts, sparring. The whole sort. Um, I took a couple trips to Parkersburg. Shout out to Gary Wolf's gym uh, and Vic Tony and, and all those guys up there. Uh, got some good rounds with them. Overall, it was a it was a 
it was probably one of the better training camps I've, 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 I've had. That's awesome. Now, Vic Tony, he's a professional, right? Isn't he a title holder as a pro? He is the WBF uh, international champion. Okay. Yeah, he won that at the uh, Parkersburg show where I last fought, October 22nd. Oh, cool. And we're beginning round number three. And Lopez is bloodied. He's got a little swelling in that right eye, yeah. left eye. But you'll have that with the, uh, with these 10-ounce uh, gloves, are they? Yeah, these will be 10s. You can see the action slowing down a little bit. They're both uh, rightfully a little tired after two rounds of oh, fighting. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're definitely uh, pushing a pretty good pace for, yeah, for these pro three-minute rounds. They were active rounds. They yeah. weren't just... You say they're pro MMA fighters, right? Uh, they, they, they've had pro MMA fights? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain it was professional. I know they at least have MMA background. It might have been amateur, but, um, you know, now that they're professionals, if they do any more MMA, they would have to do pro. Right. Another stance switch from Raheem Davis there. He's going yeah. southpaw again. Good, good bo body shot. Yeah, that was a good right hand of the body from, Lo from Davis. And he switches back. And back again. Yep. <laughs> Lopez, Lopez is doing a really good job at cutting the ring off. Yeah. Nice combo from Lopez. Mixing it up there, going to work. Very good exchange from these two fighters. Yeah. The crowd loves it. There it goes. Lopez goes in, locked it up. We haven't seen much of that this fight. They've, yeah. they've pretty much just been exchanging leather other than that. Yeah, and you know, the referees, we were talking about earlier, the referees have been doing a great job of breaking things up. Oh, good well, body, body shot, shot. Lopez. Oh, that hurt him. That, well, hurt, oh, that hurt him. That's the, uh, the, the shot you were telling me about last time, I think, the liver shot. Yeah, he was going for the liver shot. Definitely uh, landed it, and it looked like... Raheem Davis, you know, he made a face. He kind of showed that it hurt him a little bit. Yeah, you can see where he's got that arm lowered now. Yeah. Yeah. Another good combo from Lopez. Oh, looked like he might have missed some head. looked like he missed step. Yeah, maybe some head contact too. Lopez smelled blood and got a little wild in there, and, yeah. and he kind of he kind of took a misstep, and it cost him a little bit. Oh. But he's got it back. Big left hand. He's bringing it on now. Lopez smells blood. Yep. And Raheem just keeps moving. Oh. Tagged him back. Yeah. Both guys, you know, it looks like they're just taking turns. It looks like one will hurt the other, and then they try to go for the finish. Been an exciting fight for sure. It has been. That's the difference between the pro and the amateur rounds. Yeah. Tons, tons of heart between these two individuals. Yeah. Very, very good fight. Now, what? we broke up what, what happened. Mouth lost guard? the mouth guard. Okay. Yep. Lopez lost the mouth guard, and this should be uh, end of the round coming it's, up uh, in just a few seconds. Yeah, I know it's close. Now Raheem just kind of shoved him back. Um, yeah. I think if that keeps happening, we're going to look to see the uh, referee start to step in. You can't just keep pushing your opponent. Now the way Raheem's leaning back, he looks gassed now or hurt. He does look tired. Yeah. You can tell. You can see in his face that he's kind of wincing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Here we got some replays. That was a good body shot landed from Nelson. Yeah. You can see he stepped back, kind of readjusted his belt. And that's the kind of punch that stays with you the whole fight. Oh, you don't. Yeah. You don't recover. You recover. But you don't you don't fully recover from a punch like that. Yeah, there was a good trade between the two guys. Davis landed something, but then Nelson came firing right back out of the corner. So how would you call this fight so far, both of you? Huh. This is this is actually very tough. I'm I, I would say um, we're going into the fourth. I'd say it's one uh, one apiece in the two in the first two rounds, and then the third round Lopez stole. I do believe. Yeah, just I think I end. would agree with that. Just off of being more consistent, you know. I mean, judges are definitely looking for consistency in the work, um, that pace. You know, Davis surprised him a couple of times, but Lopez is fighting from the middle. He's moving forward, and he's you know landing some pretty good combinations. Two 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 of the things that made me say that are. Um, one ring control you can see how he's controlling where the fight takes place right and then also uh from that body shot yeah and the other shots too 
damage. So yeah. I, that that's the criteria that I would be using if I were a judge. Fortunately, I'm not. That's <laughs> that's a very tough job. It is, yeah. Well, when, uh, he... But as, as far as I'm concerned, these, both of these guys are winners. Yeah. Now Davis has stopped cocking that right arm after he got that body shot, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. It definitely got his attention. I, yeah. I'd say that 100%. Yeah, Lopez is landing every once in a while. Davis is sneaking something in there, but you know Lopez is uh, you know pretty consistently landing whenever he does throw. Which Lo Lopez, he's really stocky and compact, yeah. and, and you can tell by the way he explodes into his combinations. Yeah, that, that, that style suits him very well. Just once he gets inside, he goes to work. Absolutely, yeah. And he's very patient about doing yeah. so, getting inside. He caught a he caught an uppercut right there. Yeah. That Naheem, he's he's very crafty with that with that counter uppercut. Yeah, absolutely. He's got he's got the timing down on that pretty well, and that swelling on Lopez's eye is uh, is growing a little bit. Yeah, and you can tell if you just look at the top of Raheem's head. It's made contact with Nelson's yeah. face because it's got a little bit of blood on it. So, you know, on the clinches, we've got to watch out for, for some head contact. That can make cut, cuts worse. Yeah, that's, that's what you got to watch for with these fights with no headgear. Yep. A bunch of head contact. Yeah. Lopez still trying to turn up the pace. Raheem's showing pretty big signs of fatigue now at this point. Yes. Yeah. He looks like he's fighting hurt. Yeah. His body language is not good right now. Yeah. But he is still he's still fighting. Oh, absolutely. All, all, all credit to him. He is still fighting, but his body language does not look good. You just heard the uh, hit Lopez's corner say he's tired, and I did not see anything to the contrary. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Lopez's corner is just calling for him to just throw, throw, throw. I'll tell you, Lopez still has good head. Well, he had good head movement. Yeah. <laughs> He's big, kinda, he was kind of pinned right there. He didn't have much of a choice. Yeah. Now big onslaught from, from Naheem Davis. Yeah, Naheem's gassed. Yeah. And yeah, Naheem's emptying the gas tank right now. Yep, that's the end of the round. Now, that was four or was that three? That was four. Okay. I believe we're going to be uh, going to a decision now. Yep. Terrific fight. Yeah. That, yeah, terrific fight. I would not <laughs> want to, to have to score that. Where y'all at? For sure. Let's go. <laughs> well, he's showing a lot of energy now. If the, if there if there was ever going to be a draw tonight, oh. I, this I think this fight would be a good a good one. Yeah, it'd be that. close. I'm a, I'm a little more partial myself to just like you know keeping that consistency and, and pressure and stuff like that, like we saw out of Lopez. Absolutely. Yeah. But but you never know. I mean, those uppercuts hurt for sure. Those uppercuts yeah. that Raheem Davis was throwing. And Lopez has been bloody for yeah. a number of rounds. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it to the judges to give us a good decision. One thing, one thing I do want to point out here. Um, I'm looking at your sheet here. It says switch AF, <laughs> and um, he only switched twice, yeah. maybe three times. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he, when he did switch to southpaw, he didn't stay there very long. Like he wasn't quite, you know, getting what he wanted out of it. Yeah. Which I mean. And, and, and no hate, no hate to him. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's a very tough thing to master fighting with both styles. I yeah. could, I, could, I I wouldn't try to switch once. And, and if Lopez isn't going to play that game anyway, then it kind of puts him yeah. at a disadvantage, doesn't it? Because if he if he doesn't rotate along with them, yeah. Well, he, when you when you switch stances, you're going to uh, have different angles that the punches are coming from. Your jab hand's going to be on the other side. You know, it does change quite a bit. So if you can get something good out of the switch, then you know it's it's worth it. Uh, it's definitely something I used to do when I fought. I'd switch a good bit, but like you were saying, the the danger of switching. <laughs> Raheem Davis, he kind of switches whenever. He just switches like in the midst of everything. Um, that's you know that can be really tough because somebody times that out. You know it can be lights out. Yeah, which that might be the reason that he only switched two or three times because maybe he felt that Lopez had the timing there yeah. on that switch. Yeah. All right, well, they're collecting the scorecards from the judges right now. The announcers got them.
Another split decision. Another split decision. I'll buy that for a dollar. All right, yep. yeah. I mean, we got a split decision. That means at least one judge saw it going yeah. to Nelson Lopez, but the other one saw it for Raheem Davis. I guess based off of power punches and, yeah, and really hard very hands, good exchange. Real fight damage done. You know, definitely uh, a tough fight all around. Zach, Zach, what's, what's next for you? You got plans for your next fight or anything like that? Uh, no, I don't have anything scheduled. Uh, as I was telling you, I'll 